And of course, we've been talking about the sweltering heat baking South Florida. Today, well, right now, our ocean is warmer than usual, and that means danger for our coral reefs still recovering from last year's bleaching event. And tonight, we introduce you to a local artist who, for years, has been creating work to engage all of us to pay attention to what's happening and demand climate action now before it's too late. The Coral Artist is tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. Coral reefs everywhere in the world are bleaching together. 75% of the Australian barrier reef is bleached. 83% of the Brazilian reef is, is bleached. The Fakarava Pass is completely white. NOAA scientists have sounded the alarm. Right now, our ocean is in the grips of the fourth global coral bleaching event in Earth's recorded history, the second in the last 10 years. <laughs> and for South Florida environmental artist Beatrice Chachamovitz, it's not just heartbreaking, it's a call to action. There is a massive amount of pressure on being able to convey this and the time frame that I have to convey this because we're running out of time. Last summer's record-breaking heat resulted in the worst mass bleaching ever documented in Florida. Thousands of corals lost forever. To see the bleaching event we had last year was devastating. It was horrifying. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen with my eyes. Since the 1980s, Florida's reef track, the third largest in the world, has lost 90% of its coral cover due to disease and bleaching. And scientists warned climate change could wipe out 70 to 90% of all coral reefs on the planet by the year 2050. My greatest hope is for people to fall in love with the ocean so that they can know it and protect it. It is that mission that drives Chachamovitz. Through her work, the Brazilian-born artist uses extensive scientific research to document what's happening to these diverse marine ecosystems that for 15 years have inspired her creations. All of the mass bleaching events that have been happening since last year and now, it's just pushing me to talk about things that we can do and create exhibitions that promote healing. Her 2022 project, Into the Great Dying, The Steps We Take, was a crushing indictment of what we're doing to our planet. An interactive installation where spectators walked across a room filled with clay sculptures of different coral species and destroyed them. A five-year project that took four months to make and only 30 minutes to demolish. I make people destroy it so that we can understand what's actually happening. Do you think art moves a needle? I think so. I think it has the power to reach deep into people's hearts with no information. Oh my God, this ecosystem is still alive and it's right here. What am I doing about it? Have I seen it? Her latest work is much brighter, inspiring hope that we still have time to turn things around. So there are so many elements that are meant to create a sense of wonder and connect people to healthy, thriving, and resilient corals. Heliotropic Seekers is up now on Española Way in Miami Beach. Brightly colored plexiglass cutouts hang from above. Native fish and corals, including elkhorn and staghorn, the two species almost wiped out completely by last summer's bleaching. We have represented um, species that are either threatened or completely obliterated or fishes that are helping the ecosystem be restored. We were there when art students from Miami Beach Senior High helped Chachamovitz with the installation by painting a mural using fish tensils she taught them how to make. So the idea for the mural is for them to come together and create a biodiverse school of fish crossing the mural. And for these young artists, it's their canvas to inspire a worldwide audience of visitors. And hopefully they like look at it and they realize the impact they're making on the environment. Celebrating the reef is something that is so important. Even though it's important to talk about the problems that they're facing, we need to remember that they're still alive and celebrate that life before they're gone. You can experience the wonders of heliotropic seekers for yourself through the end of this month in Miami Beach. For more on Beatrice's work and the latest on the global coral bleaching crisis, scan that QR code on your screen. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure page on Local10.com. What a talented woman. Yeah. And, and inspirational. Is the international language. And what mm -hmm. she does with each word is plant seeds of love. Yeah. We only love 
We only protect what we love. So she's sure. encouraging all of us to fall in love with the ocean and fall in love with our coral reefs. And her art is just beautiful. It Magnificent.